Okay, today I thought I'd share with you uh, another online PCB service that I just tried. This one's called nextpcb.com and um, I needed to have some small circuit boards made and I wanted to also try a, another free PCB layout service not only for the manufacturing but for laying out the board. You know in the past I've done the Design Spark Mechanical PCB. I've done the uh, Easy, uh, what was it? Easy EDA system, which actually is my favorite. And then this one's the KeyCAD, which is actually spelled K I C A D E D A. And uh, so I wanted to try them all because they were all free and they're online for designing a board. And this is a board that I just designed. What this board does. It allows me to drive a stepper motor, like this one here, a NEMA 17, um, directly. So I needed a stepper driver, I wanted a silent driver, and I wanted to use a 555, very much like the circuit that I used in my Leslie guitar project, only so a little bit different on the 555 thing and that I just have a trim pot for setting the speed. So. Um, I've tried all three of the PCB layout programs. They all work fine. Um, like I say, I think of all of them, the Easy EDA was probably my favorite one. And I've tried three P printed circuit board makers. The first one that I tried uh, was uh, the JLC PCB. And then uh, I went to PCB Way which you've seen the uh, the boards for that in that transparent clear case for the little uh, KD270 robot and then this one like I say was made by nextpcb.com and the reason I went with them rather than back to the other ones is one I wanted to try a different one to see if their product was any good and how long it would take and by the way it took 16 days I am used their slowest mailing service because I didn't want to pay the extra money for shipping all of the services default to one of the more expensive methods. So they want you to pay anywhere from twenty to forty dollars for shipping because they can get them to you like in two days and stuff like that. I got time, so I go for the cheapest one. In the case of um, this one, I ended up paying eleven cents. That's it total. I had to PayPal them eleven cents. And that's because if you're a first time user of the service, just like with PCB Way and just like with um, JLC PCB, when you're a first time user, they give you a super price break and everything. But that's what it broke down to. And actually, I'll move the camera over in just a second and show you on the screen exactly how it lays out and how the price breaks down. But basically, um, it's actually cheaper now because I just went to the website and put in the same information. But I used a different browser so it wouldn't know I was a return customer. I didn't order more. I just wanted to find out if the same price deals were there. And they are. Anyway, they ended up sending me uh, six of them in this little pack. There's uh, still there. and I've got this one out so you can actually see what I laid out there. And of course I've got the one right here that I've stuffed the components onto. This is the uh, this is the TMC22. 08 driver, it's a silent driver, 5 volt regulator, 555 timer. This would be my speed control for the circuit. And this is where the uh, stepper motor plugs in. As you can see, it's uh, turning this gear mechanism here. I'm going to have some follow up videos on this project, so I'm not going to talk a whole lot about this project right now. In the follow up videos, I'm actually going to try PCB Ways service for making nylon parts. So I've sent them the files for these gears and actually for uh, four other gears to have them all made in nylon and we'll find out uh, how those turn up. Right now this stuff's all printed in in PLA. So now let's let's move the camera over to the computer and I'll just give you a little rundown on their website in case any of you are interested. And let's turn this light off. See if I can get this squared up a little bit better for you guys. Maybe zoom in a little bit. So the first thing you do when you go to the website, 
of course, I clicked on PCB quote, and then they ask you to put in all your Gerber files from the board. They're generated when you make the board as a zip file, and I did. So here it's showing the board, which you've all seen. And based from that, they pretty much know all the information that they need, but they know that's going to be a standard board. They know that it's two-sided. Um, they've got the size, so they know what the size is. As long as the size is small, you'll get this good price that we're talking about. And they're going to do a quantity of five pieces, even though, like say, they sent me six. And um, there are a few other things down here where you can, you know, change colors and stuff like that on the on the board. But then it came back up here, and it was going to be, you know, five dollars for a quantity of five. And um, but it breaks down to when you're a new user that the uh, they waive that. Let's see, price per. And it wanted to default to DHL, which was like 2421 shipping. But I scroll on down and I changed it to this 4PX, which would have been 571. But again, because it's a first time order, they waived the PCB price. That was like one cent. And the shipping because it was below the order was below a certain less than ten dollars and a new time user they've waived that so the total <laughs> total price if I were to order them right now would be like one cent and which is reasonable to try out their service to find out you know whether it's any good or not so if any of you got any little projects you want to do you you might consider checking out any of these services that I've already told you about you know whether it's PCB way or whether it's the JLC PCB, or whether it's the next PCB.com, and there's probably others. If I have to do some more circuit boards for a different little project, I'll probably do a little search online and just find out what else is out there. Uh, I d was going to mention on this project, if you were going to do something like this, where you were going to use a stepper motor, the main reason I'm using a stepper motor to drive this is because stepper motors don't have any brushes. Um, all your other motors, whether it's a toy motor, like we're using the uh, the TT gear motors and stuff like that, you know, they're not designed to last a lot long. This, this type of thing can run 24-7 because there are no brushes in a stepper motor. The only thing that can eventually wear out in a stepper motor would be your, your bearings on the, uh, on the shaft. But... Getting away from that, if you didn't want to lay out a board, didn't want to do your own circuits, I also, at the same time as I was waiting for these boards, I got online and I checked, and I found that you can get what they call uh, breakout boards for stepper drivers. And the driver just is plugged into the socket. This driver just plugged right in there. Your stepper motor just plugs right in there. And uh, this allows you to break out and control that stepper driver, in this case, I found just a 555 oscillator and you know these things are less than a buck these are dirt cheap and this in fact this board was less than two bucks and I just took that and plugged it into the clock input and tied into the supply and away you go you could you could manage to do this for very little money if you didn't want to design your own custom board I did want to design it and I wanted to see how long it would take here. Here, I wanted to see the quality and all that kind of stuff. But there are other ways of, of doing things like this. I think there's a mainly need for people that like to work with Arduinos and stuff like that so they can get a breakout board to control different stepper drivers. They make different boards. This red one is the one that will work with the TMC2208 driver. Uh, they may also make a larger one that was blue or black or something that's for other stepper drivers just because they have different pinouts, different functions. So you you would want the truth tables, you know, what, what's coming out of here and here to everything to match up right. Uh, the dip switches on here are for breaking down the uh, the step control. I'm not going to get too much into that. It's going to get too confusing for you guys. In the case of uh, the 2208 stepper driver, I didn't need any of that so I could just leave all of those blank for my particular job but some of these stepper drivers um, in the case of this one you do need to be able to control uh, how it how many steps it breaks things down into almost think of it like a, a gearbox control 
but uh, there there are options if you don't feel like laying out your own board there are ways around doing this sort of thing uh, way back when I did the guitar Leslie project using a stepper motor had I thought about it I probably would have just bought one of these little boards and one of these and modified things and went that route rather than built it up on a perf board because back then I didn't even think about laying this I didn't know you could get it done so expensively in fact that was so many years ago maybe you couldn't maybe this is something new where it's this inexpensive I don't know anyway thought I'd share that with you um, like I say there's going to be more follow-ups not so much that this project should interest in you because this is something I'm doing custom for another builder and uh, I won't be sharing these particular files although any of you that have followed my channel you're going to recognize what you're looking at here is basically the uh, gyro section from Robbie the Robot and I do have on Thingiverse and I do have videos showing you how to build this using uh, one of the TT gear motors instead of a stepper motor to uh, drive the whole gyro and bell section and everything. In fact, before I decided to go with a stepper, I did relay out the whole project using this gear motor. And then the more I thought about it, I went, okay, this is a better gear motor than a TT because it does have carbon brushes in there, but you still have brushes. You still have a, a lifetime that's unknown. I mean, things will eventually route. So then I went, why don't I just use a stepper motor? And of course, I went with a silent driver, the, the TMC2208, because if you don't, stepper motors tend to sound a lot like a machine gun going off. You, you'd hear every one of the steps going just really loud. And the uh, TMC quiet one hushes that back to a reasonable level, actually quieter than a, a gearbox on a DC motor one. 